How's it going guys? We are back with another video here and it's the first event has been released officially in NHL 23 Hut. I'm gonna give you guys everything you need to know about it. Hope you guys do enjoy this video. Make sure you leave a like, subscribe if you're new to the channel here and turn on all notifications for the videos. All right, so let's hop into it right now. Here we go. Spotlight event. There it is. 88 overall master items available in packs. Upgrade power up master items with event collectibles and the maximum upgrade is 88 overall these guys will not go past 88 overall all year okay so basically so far there's five msps released this week although the rest of these will be released next friday in hockey ultimate team as well these 88s will be pullable in packs for the next week all right next up also you have the one week uh week one hot spotlight msp pack so you can open three of these per 24 hours as well all right these are just kind of you know bar down jerseys cool game they took cards here as well not nothing to do with the event but same as last year guys pretty much uh if you get these cards they can upgrade based on their real life performances on those games on the on the screen right there panthers against the uh sabers devils and the red wings so there you go uh, but other other news also fast forward Friday. That's kind of cool too. Uh, these cards just kind of like uh, flash forward essentially. I like it. I think it's a cool thing. Uh, before I go any further though, let's look at the objectives, guys. Very important info. So really listen up to this. So the hot spotlight ones. Okay, so we knew the hot spotlight were gonna come. So you get an 88 overall power up master item pack. Okay, so you get any of those 10 that we have seen so far in NHL 23 hot for this event for completing all these objectives. You have 60 one days to do this all right so 112 goals these are in either rivals hut champs or squad battles so either win 50 games score 250 goals you have to win 16 shutout games take 220 sh 20 shots complete 109 games make 440 hits and open eight daily reward packs okay so that's how it works for those objectives something you know that we've always had really in in hut like these type of objectives and never usually for free MSPs that often. So pretty nice, but this is what's different. All right. The hut spotlight power up. So you're saying, wait a minute, Henrik. So, so you get collectibles from completing these, right? Complete 25 games. You get two complete 75 games. You get four complete 125 games. You get five complete 200 games. You got five. Okay. So you're like 200 games. Henrik. It's going to take so long. No. So here's how it works. The more, MSPs you have on your team, that counts for double. So if you have four MSPs on your team, that will be four games every time you play one. So if you try to get like even more, like let's just say for argument's sake, for argument's sake, if you had, if, if, if you had literally, uh, what's it called? 10 of them. Think about how quick. That's 10 games for every one you play. Think about that. That'd be very, very simple to get that done. So, I mean, again, that's not easy to have all 10. I mean, I'm not lying, but that's still very cool they did that. So, that's huge. That's really huge. So, just have as many as you ha you can in your lineup. That counts for more games played, okay? So, really cool how they did it this year. I like that a lot. All right, moving on to the next thing are the challenges, which I also love a lot. Another big addition. So, here are the challenges. Let me take away my camp so you guys can see. So, you have your coins, as usual, coins, 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 but also a seasonal collectible, an event collectible, and a two goal player pack, and another event collectible. So two event collectibles from just challenges. I like that a lot. That's very good. More collectibles, more free ways to earn stuff. I think it's huge. I think it's huge. So yeah, I mean, I'm a big fan of that. Great stuff on EA for the challenges. Keep it up, EA, because I like that a lot. All right. So let's move past the challenges now. All right. Moving on to the next thing here. For me, it is going to be the store. So showing over some of these packs. All right. So here are the packs. All right. So you have the Hut Spotlight MSP pack week one. All right. 16 items, a Hut Spotlight, 84 overall power up MSP week one, an event collectible, and at least 10 player items as well. Here are the odds. Uh, you get one of the 84s, not 88s. They are 84. You have to power these guys up. That's what they are at first. Then you have the Hut Spotlight starter pack, 18 items, a power up collectible, and a guarantee of at least 12 player items. Here are the odds as well. You have 80 plus, 63%, 83 plus, 8%. All right. Then you also have the pregame pack, which is 20 items, at least 10 player items, and a guaranteed 80 plus overall item. You have the 80 plus 100%, 82 plus 58%, 84 plus 15%, and 86 plus 4%. All right. 
There's also another spotlight pack as well, but I did open uh, the amount you could. So unfortunately, I can't show that off right now. Uh, I could try to pull it up in my VOD uh, mid video here, but uh, in, in general, guys, uh, for the most part, uh, it's uh, it's not the end of the world. It's not a not a crazy pack I mean, by any means. We don't talk bad about it. It's not a crazy pack, uh, but I can show it right now for for fun. Why not? Right? Might as well. Uh, let's see what we got. So it, it was a there was a pack and it was called the post game players pack, which is 25 items, 15 gold, and a guarantee of 280 pluses. All right. So uh, it's not too bad. Uh, I'm sorry, 380 pluses, and that's really all it was that you guys missed. All right. So. No big deal there, but here we go, all right? So moving on to the next thing is the sets, all right? So sets, very similar to how it was done last year, all right? So here are the sets, Hut Spotlight Event Sets. So here they go. All right, so a lot of people were confused. Also, here is some of the game bay tilts as well. But anyway, so the game bay tilts are like this. You trade in three event collectibles and you get anyone you want. So Reinhardt, Mercer is an option as well, uh, Raymond, uh, it's, pre it's pretty cool. Uh, and Anderson and Tyson Barry. Also, if you trade in two event collectibles, you get a random choice of one of two 84 power-up MSPs. So that's pretty cool. Uh, literally, just doing two of the challenges and you get one of the 84s. So that's pretty nice right there. Good on EA there to give yourself an opportunity to uh, get one there. If you really want to, you could trade this in for a prime pack. Don't recommend this at all. These are very bad packs. Uh, if you trade in three event collectibles, uh, you get a player's, pa player's pack as well, which is pretty good. So definitely... Uh, wouldn't do these packs because they're random and they're untradeable, but you know, it's nice options. And then you have the players. So if you want to make the Breakout, the Latang, the Jared McCann, the David Poshnock, or the Zach White Cloud, you can. And for the eight, and that's, it's, you've traded in three, you get the 84 power up MSP, all right? So these are the first five that are released. The other five will be out next week. You cannot complete these sets yet, all right? Unfortunately. So the, the other ones, I mean, the other guys that have not been shown, you cannot complete yet. So unfortunate there. Like you cannot get the Gaudreau yet. You have to wait until next Friday. Okay. So moving on to the next thing is the actual collectible sets. And how do you make the collectibles? All right. So here they go. So if you trade in 15 just gold players in general, you get one. Okay. Easy enough. Not bad, as it doesn't cost too much. Uh, then you trade in either 10, 80 pluses, you get one collectible as well. Okay, not bad either. Uh, then if you trade in eight, uh, 81 pluses, you get one as well. All right, and if you trade in seven, 82 pluses, you also get one hot spotlight collectible. All right, and then if you trade in three, if you're in three, 83 pluses, you get two spotlight collectibles. And then finally, for the last one, if you trade in two, 84 pluses, you will receive two Hut Spotlight collectibles. So there you go. So 85 pluses or 86 pluses have no value when it comes to trade-in sets yet. All right, so for this first event, honestly, it's not that expensive to really max these out. Uh, it's kind of how it was last year, I do believe. But uh, yeah, I mean, it's uh, it's pretty good. It's pretty good. I, I like how it's looking so far. This event, I'm a huge fan of it. All right, let me look at uh, some of the actual players that came out today for you guys as well. I'll do a full ranking video on like which one's the best one and all that stuff. So Really, don't worry, all right? So here are the event items, all right? So the hut, uh, the hut Spotlight event. So there you go. All right, so the ones that came out today, I'll really just primarily look at. So we have the Alex the Brinkat, all right? Alex the Brinkat, 5, 7, uh, 88 overall, 92 Excel and 92 Speed. He's got Silver Elite Edges, Silver Yoink, Gold Snipe on him. Pretty cool, pretty good. Uh, abilities on Alex Abrinkat, not gonna lie. So good shot as well, 92, 88, 94, and 89. All right, and then we also have the McCann here. Jared McCann is a cool one, 6'1", 185. He's a great card, honestly. 91 Excel, 91 Speed, 89 Slop Shot Accuracy as well. All right, so yeah, no, he's really good. He's got the Silver Make It Snappy, Silver Spinorama. Gold Unsolvable Force is really nice as well, considering how hard hitting is uh, in this game. So big fan of that right there. Uh, really big fan of that right there. So McCann, and then we also have... Uh, Zach White Cloud here. Zach White Cloud, uh, 88 overall, 6'2, 209. He's got 87 Excel, 87 speed. He's got silver, no contest, silver ice pack, and gold 1T on him. Pretty nice. Uh, good card here. Uh, not insane, but a good defenseman here if you really need some, uh, some good defense help. And then we also have, uh, of course, none other than David Pasternak. 88 overall edition, six foot, 194, silver puck and a string, silver snipe, gold tape to tape as well on pasta. So that's a pretty good card also. Uh, not too shabby there. 
Uh, then we also have Chris Latang, 88 overall, six foot, 201 with buzzing. It's 90 speed, 89 Excel, silver tape of tape, silver in reverse, gold stick em up. So a pretty good card, honestly. A pretty good card is what Latang is. And uh, all these cards are pretty good. I mean, I'm, I'm not going to lie. None of them are, are bad, that's for sure. But I'll show the other guys uh, maybe tomorrow or next week. Because, I mean, these are not made. You cannot make these yet or pull them. So it's not really that important to have. So there you go. There you have it, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Hopefully, I kind of cleared up any questions you had of the event. If you have any other questions in the comment section down below, please let me know. Leave a like, subscribe if you haven't already. Follow me on Twitch, Henrik, Instagram, Twitter, TikTok, Henrika 3 E's. Enjoy Discord. Talk to me. Follow and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video.